Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Info Street. In today's video, we will explore the routing packet function in SAP Integration Suite. So the routing function in SAP Integration Suite is like an if-else statement in C programming. It allows you to route messages to different targets based on specific conditions such as contents, headers, or values in the message body. This is incredibly useful for creating flexible integration flows that can handle various scenarios and requirements. So in this video, you will see how we can route a message to different route based on a condition. Let me just show you the flowchart here. So as you can see in this flowchart, we have this XML data as a source. Now if the choice uh, contains the alphabet, Then we are printing the output as this is alphabet. Now if the choice is a number, then we are printing the output as this is a number. But if the choice is uh, something else, then we we'll print as undefined in the output table. Okay. Okay. So we are back back to our integration suite. Now here we will create an integration flow. Let me just give it a name here. Now we will click on add and open in editor. Okay, so this is the basic type flow. Let me click on edit. Okay, now let me just connect the sender to the start message event. I will use the adapter HTTPS. Let me enter the address here. Get route for Okay. So now I will add the content modifier here. I will create one message header. Let me just give it a name as mm, yeah choice. It will it will be the X path here. The source value will be choice. Data type would be Java dot lang dot string. Okay, now let me just add a router here. Let me just adjust it. Okay. Okay, now let me just rename it to for alphabet. And in the processing type, I will use an expression type as non XML. Okay, the condition would be uh, the condition would be header dot choice equal to alphabet. Okay, now let me just add another end message event. Let me connect it to the router. So also let me just rename it to for number. And in the processing type, we'll use expression type as non-XML, then condition as header dot choice is equal to number.
okay now again i need to add one end message uh, for the default route i will just check this check box okay let me just rename it to default So as you can see here, we want output in the string format. Okay, so now let me just add the content modifier to each of the routes. So in the message body, I will type as invalid for the default out. Let me just quickly do for the rest of the routes. Okay, now I will save this I2 and I will deploy it. Use yes. Okay. Okay, so now we will go to monitor integration and APIs. Click here. Okay. There are no endpoints configures. Okay, let me just refresh it. So as you can see, we got our endpoint. Let me just drop it. We'll go to the postman. Now we will just paste this particular URL. Okay, so I have already entered the body here. Choice. Let me just enter number here. Click on send. Okay, so we have got the response here. This is a number that we have entered in the content modifier. Let me now change it to alphabet. Click on send. Okay, so we have got this response as well. Now let me just enter some random number here. Okay, so this is, we got this as invalid. Okay, so that's how you can use the routing palette function in SAP integration suite. With this powerful feature, you can create flexible and dynamic integration flows that efficiently directs messages to the right endpoints. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips on SAP integration suite and other tech topics. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.